Hi everyone, this is Scott from Zen Games. Uh, making a video for you tonight about Minecraft. I've had quite a lot of parents come in the shop and ask me how's the game work and things like that, so I thought I'd do like a, a parents tutorial to the basics of Minecraft, so if you want to play with your kids or if you just want to know how the game works and what they get up to, this short, probably about 10, I'll do probably a series of videos, try and keep them to 10 minutes each so you can really dive in and see what the game's about. So. Basically when you start the game you see this screen here and basically if you're playing by yourself you'll go to single player or if you're playing to in a, in a realm which is multiplayer you'll go into here. For tonight we'll just go into a single player realm. So let's create a, a new world and let's call our world Zen Paradise. So basically these are the different modes that you can use, so creative will basically, it's like a god mode, you have unlimited resource of everything, nothing's going to kill you, you can fly around, so this is really the realm where if you just want to build things, you play in this one. Uh, probably the most common and, and what I like to play in is survival, so um, <clears throat> survival there are mobs that will attack you and you've got to mine for your own resources, so it makes the game a, a bit more tougher. Um, and you've got things like hunger and that to worry about and then you've got hardcore and basically um, in hardcore if you die the game is over you lose your game world so basically you've got one life to see how far you can get without dying so it's quite a tough challenge and a fair bit of fun um, so we'll go with uh, survival and we can go into our uh, more world options here and we can have generated structures on or off so that means that um, if you have it on there'll be random uh, towns around the place with structures and there'll be pyramids and things like that. Um, you might turn that off if you're playing creative mode and wanted to make something very specific. World type, so super flat is just a really flat world. Again, this is used a lot for creative. Large biomes gives you really large um, biomes. So biomes, there's like a snow biome and a, a jungle biome. So it just makes them typically bigger than the normal size. Um, amplified is massive and you'd want to have a pretty meaty computer use it so I would avoid that one um, to start with um, and then you've got your default which is what we will use right so allow cheats on or off so again if you were playing in um, creative mode you may want to make commands or if you're trying to make a map so that lets you do sort of back-end stuff with the game um, again you probably leave that off just for a normal game but you can turn it on and it lets you do things like change your experience or you can like type in a command and a block will appear or you can make creatures appear or you can change the time of day so you can use that for different things um, and bonus chest if you turn that on it just means when you start the game you'll have a little chest next to you it'll have some little goodies in it to help you get it started so we might turn that off so we click done and basically now we're ready to create our world so basically when we click go our world's going to start generating and each Minecraft world is unique and different, so no two are the same. They're procedurally generated, which means there's a computer algorithm that generates a world for you, so every game is different. So we've loaded into a random cave. So this is basically Minecraft. So basically, because we're playing survival, we may get attacked by mobs. So the first thing we want to do is have a quick look around and sort of see our surroundings so we're in quite a good spot here we've got some water here we've got some trees which are quite important um, what we're really missing at though there's some stone there so this is dirt and stone um, what we're really looking for at the start of the game is definitely some wood um, and if we can see stone like a large formation of stone anywhere that's also going to be very helpful for us so we'll get to the high ground and we'll have a look around. So at the moment we've we've got a lot of dirt around us. So the first thing we want to do is we want to walk up to a tree and we want to punch it. And basically that's going to give us some uh, wood that we can craft with. So you'll want a few blocks of that. So you just basically punch away at the tree and get some wood. Very exciting. Alrighty. Alright, so as you can see here, we now have four blocks of wood. So, oh, there's one up there that we missed. There we go. Alrighty, so what we do with our wood then is we hit our E button, and E is basically opens our inventory. So what we can now do is we can click on our 
wooden block and we can place it up in our crafting spot and we can now turn our spruce wood into spruce wood planks so we just do that and we take it away so now we've got planks and what we can do with the planks is we can actually craft stuff so if we basically make a square block that will give us a crafting table now with our crafting table which we can basically select um, you can use the mouse wheel or you can use the numbers or you can just select it and, and place it um, we can then place that in the world so we might use this little cave here because it's a little bit of a pre-made hideout for us and we'll just right click and place our crafting table down here so now that we have a crafting table we get access to a bigger crafting thing which lets us build other stuff so again we place our wood and we get some planks again now what we can do is we can put our planks one on top of the other like this and we can get some sticks and we can take our sticks and place them like a handle and then we can basically place oh, we don't have enough planks one second so let's just turn all of those into planks alright so we can place our sticks like a handle and we can put our wooden blocks across the top now to place one wooden block at a time you just basically right click and you fill it out and then we can left click on our pick and we now have a pickaxe so a pickaxe will let us mine uh, stone blocks we wouldn't be able to mine those without a pickaxe and what we might also grab is a shovel so again we'll make a handle with our sticks put one on top and that will give us a shovel so what we're in what we're looking for right now um, is some stone this is exactly what we want so we want to grab some stone here um, because we're going to need the stone to make a furnace which is going to let us smelt ores which is going to let us make um, more powerful things now just be careful when you're walking around that you don't fall down random holes in the world if you ever want to walk if you hold the shift button it will stop you from falling down so you'll never fall down anywhere if you're walking near ledges with the shift button so it's a good little um, trick to use and that will stop you from dying when you're walking around in caves and you're not entirely sort of sure what's below you if you can't see properly now if we want to get down here which is a bit difficult we can use our shift button and we can roll around and we can place some blocks like that to make a staircase for ourselves to safely get down alright so what we're looking for down here is this stuff here coal so the coal is very important it's on your first day in minecraft you really want to get yourself um, probably a stack of 10 stone and at least four or five coal because what you'll do with the coal is you'll use that to make torches and after your first day basically mobs start spawning and mobs kill you and what the torches do is they make light and basically um, mobs don't spawn, hostile mobs don't spawn where there is light so basically you get torches, you can build a little house, you can place your torches in them and then you're safe from the mobs so we'll grab, um, so we've got 16 stone now so we're quite fine and we will jump up here now we're using spacebar to jump and we're just using our mouse to look around you know, try not to venture too far from where you want to set up your first base, otherwise you uh, might get lost. So here we go, here's our little cubby house that we made. So now when we go to our crafting table, we can right click again. And we can use some of our wooden blocks that we've got left. And make some more sticks. And basically we can place the sticks on the bottom here. Place the coal on the top. And we can make torches. So now with our torches, we can select them and we can place them and it lights up our little house for us so um, I like to make my things a little bit nice so we might just uh, dig out ourselves a little bit of a, a floor here and make our house a little bit nicer there we go so this will just be our temporary house basically just to get us going so that we don't die on the first night alrighty so dig that out like that and we might use some of the dirt that we've uh, acquired here just to uh, brick up our house so that we can light up our room properly and not worry about mobs attacking us so we'll place our crafting table back down 
Something else you'll want pretty early on as well is a furnace. So basically a furnace, you place stone blocks all around the outside and that will give you a furnace. So you can place the furnace down and that will let us smelt ores when we get ores soon and it'll also let us cook food which we'll need to survive. Um, also we'll probably want to grab so what we'll do is now that we've got stone we can make some better quality tools so the wooden tools are quite weak and they break very easily so they basically every time you mine a block your little bar here goes down and when it gets down to zero um, basically your tool will break and you'll need to make a new one so what we'll do is we'll craft ourselves an axe and we'll also craft ourselves a sword so the axe is um, two sticks and then three stone around the side and a sword is two sticks uh, no it's one stick and two bits of stone will give us a sword so we can use the sword if we need to um, fight off creatures and we can also make a better quality uh, pickaxe so again just three across the top and that will give us a stone pickaxe um, and if we want we can also make a stone shovel so they're much better quality um, we'll just go and quickly do this before it's night time. Um, so what we want to do is food wise we had a pig up here so if we um, kill the pig the pig will give us bacon and I really don't like killing animals in Minecraft but at the start of the game it's definitely the easiest way once you're a little bit more set up you can sort of farm for your food and live off the land so basically the piggy he gave us a piece of pork chop there um, and we'll go have a quick look. Oh, there's a sheep as well. Now these are really useful. So again, we'll have to kill poor Mr. Sheep. Um, and he gave us some raw mutton and he also gave us one wool. Um, here's another one here. So to attack creatures, I'm basically using um, left click and just attacking the creature. Now you might not get lucky and get um, sheep spawn near you, but if you do get sheep spawn near you, um, it's a very good way to start. So now you can see with my stone axe here, I'm mining the wooden blocks much faster. And if we have a quick look up at the sky, probably notice the sun is starting to set. There is the sun. Uh, and this is why it's always good to know where your high ground is, because you don't want to be um, caught out of your base at night time, because what will happen is a bunch of creatures will spawn, and more than likely you will die so you can see the sun's definitely setting you can see the the sky is starting to fade so the sun's you can see the sun starting to set so this is the sort of time we want to uh, retreat into our house so I might quickly grab a little bit more wood for us to work with if you can't reach basically you can spacebar to jump and right click to place a block underneath you and that will elevate you up one block so um, or you can just leave it behind <clears throat> alright so here's our little base here now what we definitely want to do is so that we don't have random things dropping by to kill us we want to uh, pop in a little wall like that and then what we can do is you can either if you don't have a lot of uh, wood from your first day you can just basically uh, box yourself in which isn't super useful because you don't know when it's daytime again but if you did get a bit of wood during the day um, so we can get our wooden planks by left clicking it all out and if we basically place six blocks like that it'll give us some doors so then we can take our doors and we can right click on the uh, floor here oh, wrong space now if you click it wrong just hold down left click and it'll get rid of it Alright, so now we have a door for our house in the sun setting, so we right click, we open our door, and we're safe inside of our house away from all of the monsters. Now, what we need to do next is cook our food. So if we right click on our furnace, and what we need is some fuel. So we can use wood for fuel if we want, we can use our old weapons to get rid of them. Um, and I typically like to get rid of my wooden weapons just by using them as fuel to start with, and then... I use coal because you don't want to waste your coal at the start of the game because you really need it for torches. So basically we put our little thing in there, we put the mutton at the top and it starts to burn the uh, wooden pickaxe as fuel. 
and you can see the little flame bar here goes down. So if we run out of flames, basically that means we've run out of fuel. So our wooden weapons are really only good for one thing, and after that they'll be used up. <clears throat> so we've run out of fuel, so now if we place a coal, the coal will actually last a fair bit longer and it should finish all of that mutton for us. So you can see this little bar down here, which is just below these little things that look like um, hams down here. This is our hunger bar. Now if our hunger bar isn't full, we won't regenerate health if we take damage. So we want to make sure that we have food and when our hunger starts to get low, we want to eat food because if our hunger gets um, down to the bottom, basically we start starving and we start taking damage automatically. But we do need to have full health if we want to heal. So if you take damage and you wonder how do I heal, you need to make sure you eat food until you're full and then you'll heal. So basically we've got our cooked mutton now and all we do is we select our mutton and then we hold down right click and you can see we're now full again. So if we had taken damage we would start to heal. So basically that's how you um, survive your first night in Minecraft. So if you want to play with your kids um, that's the basics. Keep watching and we'll go through um, we'll keep playing this little game together and we'll keep making some videos so you can learn along the way, but that will get you through your first night. So basically in your first in your first day when you've got daylight, what you're aiming for is some wood, um, some stone, some coal, and what you want to be able to do is make yourself a sword, a shovel, a pickaxe, and an axe, and you want to have yourself somewhere safe to hide um, from the monsters, and you definitely want to have a crafting table because you need that to make um, these, and you definitely want to have a furnace because you need to cook some food. So food sources, you've got pigs, sheep, chicken, cows. Um, there is grass around which you can get seeds from, but you're really not going to be able to get that in the first night. So you're really going to have to look around and find some animals. So that's it for this first video. So um, make sure if you like this, um, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. We'll have tons of videos on there. And um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them as soon as possible. See you later, guys.